Right, hello again. Uh, this is same auction uh, that I bid on, and this one was lot four. This is the first one I won, and um, I paid fifteen pound plus four forty nine commission on this one. Uh, description was small selection of costume jewellery, imitation pearls, ornate gilt coloured necklaces, diamante, together with two lady wristwatches. So nineteen pound forty nine. So let's round it up twenty quid on this lot. Uh, the reason I went for this uh, at the fifteen was I spotted this one. Uh, on on the photograph, all there is is one photograph, that's all you can see. So you can zoom in a bit, but that's as much as you get. So there was that one and that one that was standing out. And on the photo, I didn't know if that was stones or not, but obviously it's not. So may as well have a look at this one first then. <laughs> right, so this... If you'll notice, it's got this on it, which means it's the Coro. Um, Coro did uh, lots and lots of makes, but the most well known uh, will be Jewel Craft and uh, Coro Craft. Um, Jewel Craft predominantly in England. So this has got all its faux pearls. I think the faux. Yeah. It's got all its faux, faux pearls, gold tone, and what I find really interesting is it's got this on it, look. It's got its original tag, Jewel Craft Creation, registered 25 shillings. <laughs> look at that. Isn't that brilliant? <laughs> I shall leave that on, some collector might fancy that. So I'm hoping I've got my money back in that one on this one, so. Yeah. Oh, sorry I wobbled it. Yeah, so that's that one. Oh, let's look at the other one. I, I spotted straight away. Okay, so this. Ah, oh, right. Oh, that's a different one. Uh, this has got no... No writing. No tag. It's got something in there. Right, I'll have to get me other loop out for that, hang on. Blimey, that took from doing that jewel craft. So it should have the little tab on the end, but it hasn't. Um, and it's got some wear to that top edge there on the coating but yeah it's quite nice so that's that one now uh, this one looks like acorns so this is definitely going to be coro yeah there it is um i've got a website saved in my favorites that give me dates of the tabs but I think that's a 50s it's going to be 50s or 60s anyway but that's in lovely condition that one very nice again same tab it's a very um, muted gold this it's like a brushed finish it's not super super shiny yeah lovely that's four coral or jewel craft so far is that fastened right that's fastened right so we've got vintage Pills. Let me just have a look. 
I was just looking at the end here, it, it's had some more wire wrapped around. Uh, it's had some amendments to the chain, but it's a nice, nice clasp. The four rows, graduated imitation, I can do that now. This has got some spacing. It's got some spacing now between the pearls. The top three or four are knotted in between on that side. Some spacing on this side as well. There's a lot of wear to the coating on these. No brand. Right, well the graduated, do you remember in 50s they used to wear the graduated but the bigger stones are at the bottom there so you wear it, you wear it like that with that clasp showing. Let's get Henrietta. Here. So it's a pity there's some wear on these, but um, yeah, so you wear them like that with that. So they've got to be heavy down there, otherwise, that'll just keep dropping to the bottom. So, yeah. Somebody might still like them for, cost, for a costume. That's good. Oh, we're doing well here today. With this one. Uh, ring. Just looks like glass. Just ordinary metal. It's a bit bent anyway. So that's that. Right, said too much, just didn't it? So this. This is possibly out of there. Services, it says. Services on the box. Nothing on the watch. That's an unusual strap. Let's have a look. Come on. I don't usually have to untangle a watch strap. Ah, right. So it opens and adjusts. So on the back, we've got let's see if it says services. Uh, it says made in England, Clevico stainless steel on the actual strap, but nothing on the watch itself. On the back, there's somewhere. And on the front, it says Swiss made. Yeah, so that's that. So I don't think it actually belongs in that box, but that's that one. Um, this one says... Sarkar, 17 Rubis, Swiss made. Uh, it's a more modern leather strap because it's got a silver buckle. But that's quite a nice watch that, I like that one. That's the watches. A ring. With... I think I can see that even without my loop. 925 on a ring. So I'll put that up there. These have got a couple of little chips on. Um, vintage clasp, but it's stones. 
but it's a replacement clasp, I would say, because it's a silver toned clasp and it's a gold toned um, in between. But it's pretty, might be a fiver. Oh, I've got some more of them crystals. This is a modern next. Pretty pendant that can go in a lot. Um, this box was in it. Uh, I already had a look at this box because um, it had fallen out in the bag. Um, so I've had to look at photo and see. So this uh, says Czech, Czechoslovakia on it. And it says silver, but something at the end of it, so it looks like silver ring, silver or something. But I've had a look and there's a problem with the chain. Um, brand twisted oh that's going to be pretty when I get that flat when I get that flat that's going to be really pretty Yeah, I won't play with it anymore. Uh, same as the other, but at least this one's not broken and it's two strand. So that's that. What's this in this lot? Oh, yeah. Um, no name on this. It's really, really pretty. Pretty, but I think it's just uh, crystal. Because um, there's a lot of colour in those stones. Yeah, it was a little pretty one, so... Yes, very pleased with that. So out of this lot, I've got a um, couple of cheapies to go in the lot. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven I can sell individually. Eight if I sell that watch. And of those, one, two, three, four are uh, jewel craft. Hope you enjoyed that. Just short and sweet, that one. Thanks for watching. Love you loads. Bye.